It's a traditional Chinese cultural revival, and you're going to have an opportunity to see it next month when Shen Yun performs at the Palace Theatre here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Joining us today with all of the details is Scott Roberson from the Connecticut Falun Dafa Association. Scott, thank you very much hey, for joining thank us. You. Uh, now, Scott, Falun Dafa, what, what is it? Falun Dafa is a meditation practice that comprises exercise. There's five different exercises. Some are standing, some are, one is a seated meditation. And it helps the body's energy, like she was saying. And the, but it also comprises a mental component where we try to live by the pr three principles, truth, compassion, and tolerance. Okay. So I try to incorporate this into my daily lives in, in all aspects. So uh, overall, you're a good person. Yes. That's, that's what you're saying. So now, I try to be. Now, <laughs> now um, the show kind of wraps in with Falun Dafa, uh, Shen Yun. Tell us all about the show. So Shen Yun is a show that is telling the history of 5,000 years of Chinese culture. So throughout Chinese history, there have been various religions, Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism. Um, all throughout history, people have tried to live within these same principles. That's why it really appeals to me. So Shen Yun, the, the, Shen Yun, the show itself comprises of three main components. One's the technique, which is the acrobatic flips and, and okay. dances that they do. Uh, the second is the form and how Shen Yun performers try to do things with circles, whereas ballet is kind of more straight lines. Okay. Um, but the third component is bear, what they call bearing. That's how it translates into English. And that's more how the performer feels and, and kind of how they are as a person and how they're, through their dance, through their movements, they're trying to express not just how they feel, but trying to reveal the majesty of the 5,000 years of Chinese culture. Now, ha have you ever danced in, Ch in Shen Yun or, or tried to dance? No. No, no. okay, no. I, I just want to make sure. Maybe later in the show we'll, we'll try that out. <laughs> but uh, you, you were telling me earlier that uh, Shen Yun is an international show, but it's banned in China. Why is that? Well, Shen Yun is, it shows the full history of Chinese culture. So not only shows all the different famous Chinese stories from, uh, from legends past, like uh, from Mulan and all the different things that may, we may have heard about, all the different dynasties. But they also uh, are willing to show some of the more recent things where the Chinese government actually persecutes people that think differently than the Chinese government wants mm -hmm. them to think. Okay. So because they show that, the Chinese government isn't going to let that show in. But uh, thankfully the show is here in Waterbury, uh, very February fortunate. 7th and the 8th. And now these performers, there's a, a bunch of troops that travel around the world and, and this happens to be one of the North American troops. Now, how, how much time do these dancers, I mean, it's, it's got to be pretty grueling. It's very grueling. So they practice like eight hours a day at least. And incorporate eight, meditation. Eight, so eight so it's hours a full a work day. Like we come here and we sit and we talk and we make stuff up, and they're actually dancing and working out for St eight hours, stretching and performing and practicing and, and performing their techniques. That, and, that and sounds like to, Gil Simmons a little bit. And they have to do this for six years before they're even allowed on stage. Oh my gosh! Wow. And so they're not even considered to be an expert until after like ten years. Wow. I, I don't think I could ever do that. Now, <laughs> now, what makes this show so so exciting? Why should people check it out? It's really, it, actually, sorry, Teresa, it is an amazing show. It's an amazing, it's an amazing show, show with a lot of foodies, and <laughs> it's exquisite. And I know this is a baby episode, and it's probably not an appropriate show for babies, but my ki for kids, however, it's really great. My kids loved it. We went last year, they're still talking about it, still begging me to go this year. Um, but you see the people on stage, the, the beautiful dances, the beautiful handmade costumes, mm -hmm. and they're all wearing, like, period-specific handmade ornamentation like the you know the headdresses and the jewelry that they're wearing is all handmade it's just amazing there's also a 3d backdrop behind the stage wow. that's the size of an imax so you see people and you see the whole world opens up so it's, so it's the full experience it is. and of course you'll be there yeah all right so scott is from farmington so if you guys see scott just wave scott. hey scott from Hi. farmington <laughs> at, at, at shen yun so make sure you guys check it out it is february 7th and 8th and coming up next you're going to learn a little bit more about teresa and i and make sure that you guys like us on facebook tweet at us and of course uh follow us there on instagram and tag us in some posts because we want to know what you think about the new show and of course uh say hi to scott on there as well so scott thank right. you very much right. appreciate it and we'll see you soon